we have Dustin with us <laughs> from yeah, New York. <laughs> Never been in an airplane before, so this is Never. first flight. This is fantastic. Kentucky Dam traffic, Twin Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie is departing runway 28, allegedly 28, and we'll be uh, departing to the east. Maybe all set? Yep. Alrighty, DG checks. Two, get hundred. Everything's forward. Looking good. Full power, we're making full power. Airspeed's alive. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, rotate. At the brakes, gear coming up. Oh, damn bears coming on. Beat her on the floor. Clear left. Go check the lake out. So this, on this side, this is the Kentucky Lake? Yep, so the dam right there is the Kentucky Dam, and then that forms the Kentucky Lake. This river actually flows this way, obviously you can see it coming out of the dam, which is kind of strange because it's a sort of northerly flow to it. Um, we'll just level off at 25. You gonna do me a favor and uh, sure. take the controls? Yeah. All right, you have the controls. All right, controls. Uh, whatever altitude, it doesn't okay. really matter around here, but um, it's a bit bumpy. Okay. I was gonna turn this around so people no see the world. See the world as we see it. Man, I get a little water in my life. Okay. First time in the 310? 310, yeah. Got some 340 time. Yeah. Turn the strobes on. 421 time. So here we are flying over the center of Kentucky Lake. You can fly whenever you want. You don't have to give it to me, whatever you want to do. <laughs> oh, I fly all the time, man. <laughs> well, so do I, but I don't fly this. <laughs> this is a little different than what I normally do, so this is kind of nice. This uh, flies different than your 737? A little bit. <laughs> But isn't that cool? You just made a left turn and nobody told you you had right. to. <laughs> when was the last time that happened? And now's the time for your sales pitch. Right. I know. To, to your uh, to your lovely lady. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, this is an incredible airplane. And you can put six people in here. Right. Fly around in 180 knots. Right. Two engine safety, you know. Two engine that. redundancy. Absolutely. Two alternators, two engines, two pumps, <laughs> two vacuum pumps. And I am blind. Uh, we're giving me sh about not being able to see the airport. I'd just like to point out an American Airlines pilot has the airport in sight. <laughs> right there about one o'clock. <laughs> Perfect. I see it now. You see the numbers? Yeah, I was busy looking at these uh, yeah. antennas here. That one looks pretty tall. It does look pretty tall. Kentucky Dam traffic to assess the one Bravo Charlie is turning three mile final two eight low approach Kentucky Dam. Did we hear deer clearing path in your front call? Yep, just checking for deer. Probably. <laughs> Birds. Yep. We just had a couple of those.
There's another one. I don't do anything too crazy. Uh, that's cool. I didn't see any deer. No deer. <laughs> Kentucky Dam, Twin Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie is turning downwind for 2A, Kentucky Dam. Hi, Kevin. Howdy. Is that Andrew? It's your redneck pilot. I miss him. Hey, buddy, how far out are you? Uh, 27 miles. Oh, I thought he was on the ground. Alrighty, so we'll see you in about five minutes. Perfect. I'm in a 182, it's 9 minutes. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, I just checked the runway. There's no uh, critters on the runway, so it'll be safe when you get here. Alright, which runway y'all using? 28. Don't look at your four flight, it calls it 27. Roger that. And well, the next notch of flaps. Cool. Oh, diamonds coming off. Full flaps. And we're on final. Oh, that's our hotel right there. Like, that's our room. It is.
taxi. Leaving Kentucky Dam. Been a fun trip. We'll just plan on 5500 for now. That's a lot of climbing for a short flight, but... How far is it? Uh, 65 miles. Kentucky Dam traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's taking 28 for departure to the north Kentucky Dam. Those are all normal. Airspeed's alive. Eighty, hundred, rotate, tap the brakes. Here's coming up. Here's up. A damper's coming on. Kentucky Dam traffic, twin to one Bravo Charlie is uh, departing the area to the north, Kentucky Dam. At the center, twin Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie request. Twin Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie, you map the center, go ahead. Just off Kentucky Dam, heading up to Charlie Uniform Lima through 3000 request flight following at 5500. November 771 Bravo Charlie, squat 1656. 1656, one Bravo Charlie. All right, babe, you got the radios? Sorry. Sure, yeah. Thank you. Oh, the winds are changing up here. November 771, Bravo Charlie, radar contact, uh, four miles north of the Kentucky Dam Airport. Paducah, altimeter 3007, say altitude. 3007, one Bravo Charlie's climbing through uh, 3,900 for 5,500. Roger. We're headed to uh, Charlie Uniform Lima, which is Army, Illinois, because they got cheap gas. 5300, kind of start lowering the deck angle. Number 132, Sierra Tango, Mount of Center Jackson, altimeter 3004. And there's 5500. Charmai Municipal Airport, automated weather observation. 1829, Zulu, weather, wind. Three, four, zero, at, one, three, gut, two, one, visibility, one, zero. Temperature, TMZ, 90178, Papa, Lithium. Temperature. Number 90178, Papa, Mount Center, Paducah, altimeter 3007, say altitude. Approach 1, Bravo, Charlie has the runway inside. We can go ahead and cancel flight ball. Bravo, so Roger, air service turn is closed, VF4, change of visor. To approve no traffic service, commute in the Carmine Airport, too. Clock at VFR, one Bravo Charlie, we'll see ya. Oh, Christ. What's the name of the airport? Army. Army. Yeah. 
Carmi traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo, Charlie's on a 12 mile final 36, Carmi traffic. Carmi traffic, twin Cessna 1, Bravo, Charlie, short final 36, Carmi. bad of a landing considering the gusty conditions. Good job, babe. Thank you. Now we gotta find the fuel pumps. Love you. Oh, you should stay on the radio. <laughs> in case we need to talk. It would be okay. But then I'll be all by myself.
coming back for the arrival and Aurora. Aurora still using that handset to mix that yeah. terrible noise. Um, our instructions were to make a straight in for 3-3, three, three, report 3 mile final. We're currently 15 miles, uh, 19 miles south of the airport. I so. heard. Oh, man. Are you doing some combat vectors back there or what? Yeah. That was just for the approach? Oh, that was for traffic. Hey, what, Bravo? Charlie's approaching 8 mile final. We'll call you 3 out. One Bravo Charlie, Roger. Uh, winds are zero one zero at one two gust one seven. From way three three, York clear to land. Okay, one Bravo Charlie, clear to land three three. Thanks. Just I called twenty out and he said report three mile final. I just wanted to make sure he didn't forget about us. A little higher because even though I got the power pulled back way more than normal, those updrafts are like. 500, 800 feet per minute, then you point the nose down and airspeed picks up 20. All right, we got gas, undercarriage, air props are all set. Got to have to go. Skyhawk 962, Quebec, holding short runway 33, ready for departure. 4962, Quebec, Red Tower, hold short runway 33. Holding short for landing traffic, 22, Quebec. Finished up the fun, bumpy, possible flight. Swing so Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie, turn left at Bravo 2, left on Bravo. Cross runway 27, hold short of runway 33 at 9. Bravo 2, Bravo, hold or cross 27, we'll hold short of 33. I don't know. Cessna 22 Quebec, uh, Royal Tower to Windsor 350 at 9 August 17, right turn northeast, approved runway 33, clear for takeoff. 33, clear for takeoff, 22 Quebec. I feel like 22 Quebec don't do. Not oh. fun up there. Man, I gotta pee so bad. I just. Maybe in hindsight it should have stayed up higher longer, but I mean, I was fighting that. I guess I really did a good job of like trying to do like a f constant rate, four or five hundred foot per minute descent from 8500. It's just the updrafts, downdrafts, it was just brutal. Always those days that fun to fly.
We had a great time. Thanks for coming along with us. Hopefully you guys can uh, enjoy some of the adventure. Until next time. Yeah.